So I'm stepping up the handicap game one more time. But uh, I'm just, uh, I'm absolutely amazed. Um, we're here at Ross Prairie, and uh, to me, this is, well, the, the hikes that come out of this area are the best hikes uh, in Central Florida, some of the best hikes. Uh, I mean, there's just a tremendous amount of great hiking here. The thing that I find amazing is look over here, this is a campground. Now, the, this is the time of year, the weather is just completely outstanding, and I see there's a couple people in the campground, but it's mostly empty. But look at the parking lot. Um, there's only one car here besides mine, so I won't see anybody on the trail today, which is astounding. You see, right up here is a main road. This is, uh, I think that's 200. Yeah, that's 200 uh, going going along there, which uh, you can hear the, uh, the car noise. Uh, you can see the cars right here. So, you know, if, if something does happen, I can't make the hike or... Uh, I have to make a, now I got the phone along, uh, not much more uh, aware of, um, you know, that I might need help. So we'll see how the day goes. Um, the other thing I like about uh, this hike is there's bathrooms right here. Uh, I'm not going to go in them because you can look at my previous videos. Uh, they're uh, outstanding, usually uh, extremely clean. Uh, you can't take a shower in there unless you're staying in the campground, uh, but you can for a fee if it was a hot day, but absolutely gorgeous day here. I just, uh, I'm just amazed at the parking lot being empty. So let's get on the hike. I'll just take a, I'm just going to make this a brief uh, hiking video because you've already seen all this in previous videos, but I just wanted to show you what it's like here in Florida at this time of the year and uh, in the hiking that we have available. So let's get going. So I'm just getting started. This is the Ross Prairie State Forest Hiking Trail. And uh, you can see, look, I mean, this is just the very beginning I guess I will make kind of a hiking video. I'm not going to try to do too much. Uh, this is why I love this trail. Now look at this, and then I'll get the next transition here in a minute. Like I said, this will be a real brief uh, hiking video. Um, if you go back in my videos if you want the, the lengthy version of what the trail is and what it looks like. I did talk to a guy, a mountain biker, because like I said, there's nobody here, uh, and asked him you know, what the condition of the trail was. Because uh, we, you know, we are just coming off of summer and the rainy season. Plus a hurricane, <laughs> so so I was, uh, you know, I don't want to bite off more than I can chew here, but I think I'm going to be all right. It's uh, well, when you're when you're in decent shape, it's not a, it's a wonderful hike, uh, but for me, this is going to be a, a real challenge. Let's let's see how it goes. Oh, what the hell? Let's go ahead and make a hiking video. Hell, I probably did this at a different time of the year, so maybe you want to see the trail uh, in October versus. Uh, when the last time I did it, but, uh, I, but, but of course I know, know a lot more about the trail now probably than I did back then. So this takes you back what they call primitive camping parking. Uh, the uh, I guess you call it the ranger station or the park uh, maintenance crew. Uh, this parking area is right as you come in the main entrance. And if you're going to primitive camp back here, which I do want to do someday, that's where they want you parking. Um, and so now we're getting into the high hammock hiking trail and uh, if I can remember where that primitive campground is, I'll take you back in there and show it to you. But you can see this looks uh, much like the uh, entrance coming into the trail. Whew, I'm already feeling it just a bit, but uh, that's okay. I, usually uh, what happens when you're in bad shape like I am, uh, as you move along, the pain becomes less and less. Versus, and then, of course, at the end, it becomes more and more. <laughs> so, so I don't know what to expect with the day. But absolutely gorgeous. So far, the trail is... Uh, perfectly maintained just like I was expecting um, like I said I'm very close to uh, civilization uh, main road up there so if you were to get or if I get in trouble uh, you know I'm sure that uh, somebody can come back here and rescue me very easily uh, but the thing is you know once again I, it is it is a great hike if you want to be out uh, on your own in the forest because uh, I won't I will not see another person uh, on this trail today there goes a squirrel I don't know if you saw him on the video um, so, you know, if you, I mean, even though you're, you're kind of close to main roads and everything, you're still going to be all by yourself, uh, for the pr pretty much the duration of this hike, unless you're hiking with somebody. Uh, like I said, I don't know anybody in this area that would hike with, but that'll change. Uh, right now I couldn't hike with anybody because I hiked too slow. I would slow down the, uh, the hiking party and, uh, it wouldn't be enjoyable for them. I mean, I know that when, before I broke my neck, I, I like to move along at a nice fast pace and, uh, get in as much trail as I can I mean and so this trail uh it, it, it's it's a good hike I mean you know if you just want to get out and do a good hike but if you when you get on the Florida trail 
uh, which is you can it intersects here in, in multiple directions. Um, you know, you, you don't want to turn around at two miles and go back. You know, you want to keep going. I mean, especially if you're feeling good. And, uh, and that's the way I used to hike. And hopefully someday I'll get back to that. All right, let's just keep going. Always the trick with these videos is you don't want to take too much video. But uh, so we're still uh, at the beginning of the hike. But look at the transition. So we're just coming out into like a, uh, a brushy pine forest. And that's what I like about this hike is, uh, is that you do get these uh, transitions. And uh, I just keep it brief, but uh, let's just take a, we'll get up here just far enough. So let's just take a, a, a panoramic. But look at that. I mean, it's a totally different look, right? And so when you look, that's, that's where we came from right there. So look at that transition. And uh, so anyway, we'll, the next transition, I'll get it on the video. Uh, once again, so far, trail extremely well maintained. No ticks, no mosquitoes, no bugs. Uh, just a gorgeous day. Uh, let's keep on going. So just got out of the pine section and you can see we're transitioning back. Uh, I think that, I thought this was just a neat look because it's got that tunnel feel to it that you that you like where it's just been cut in it, to the bare minimum to get you through here. Uh, so far no cobwebs. Uh, you know one weird thing uh, just a personal comment. Uh, I haven't used a walking stick since I broke my neck because I haven't had to need it. I mean you put using it on asphalt or the other little hikes that I've done, uh, I haven't really been on a real trail. Um, this is the first uh, first big hike. I say big, big for me, not big for you probably. So, but my hand has no feeling in it. Uh, the nerve damage uh, is still a so using a hiking stick with no feeling in your fingers is kind of a weird uh, sensation because I do have some feeling in the in the upper fingers. So it's just just a crazy note as if we enjoy the video here. I. Uh, I don't. I don't want to make it about me. It's this is about you getting out here and doing this trail. Um, that's what. Uh, that's what I encourage everybody. I, this is uh, the, one of the greatest hikes in in um, Central Florida. That in my in my opinion. So all right. I want to get the next transition, but I thought this tunnel look uh, would be pretty cool to get on the video because uh, you just kind of. Of course, if you're tall, <laughs> you know, you're going to be kind of ducking down just a little bit. Luckily, I'm only a foot tall, so that makes it a lot easier for me. But look, look, I mean, look at the view and all the, this thing I love about Florida. I mean, it's just, just gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous back here. So as I transition, uh, just knowing the trail. So that's kind of what we came through. Uh, it wasn't quite the tunnel-like look that I was showing you on the last clip, but uh, but we're coming up into what I what I talk about is, uh, you know, a nice open, fieldy area. Uh, this is, uh, this is what I love. Cause I mean, you know, you just, you're just coming out of the woods and look what you're coming into. Now this looks like the beach, right? This looks like we're on the ocean. So let's, uh, now the trail I know goes to the right, but I want to get up here. Well, you can see there's a, actually there's an arrow. That's nice that they got that. And uh, if you wanted to shorten the hike, you could go to the left here, I suppose. And uh, cause the trail picks up right over there uh, on the, on the, on the way back. Uh, but I'm going to try to get the whole thing. I'm here, but look at that. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? You know, what, one of the things I've always wondered when I do this trail, because I have done it this maybe the sixth time or so, uh, I wonder why I never see like a deer down there, <laughs> some some sort of wildlife. Speaking of wildlife, you know, I, I, I just didn't even think about it. Oh, this, see, here you go. And this, this is another thing I always like to point out. So you can sit, there's a, multiple places to kind of sit and just enjoy the view. Uh, like there's a bench right there if you wanted to get some water or uh, you know, I've got in, I've got that uh, pure protein power bar. I picked up five boxes of those because this is kind of how I'm going to try to get my my life back together is to get out and do some some hikes like this as best I can. You know, but it's it's uh, this will wipe me out for about three days. Uh, so it, you know, it's they're they're going to be few and far between, and I can't do anything uh, super aggressive. But I did think about the fact that there are bear back here, <laughs> and I did not bring my bear spray. But you know, I'm not sure with my hands. You know, being the way that they are, I don't, I, I don't know if I could even operate the bear spray to uh, to spray the bear. Uh, and truthfully, I've been hiking these trails for three years now, and I have yet to see a bear. But it'd be just my luck. <laughs> when you, what is it? The scout motto: "Be prepared." I guess I'm not prepared for that. But I did want to show you this wonderful transition with the white sand. Uh, it's tough hiking for me. Uh, but just enjoy that view. The trail is going to loop back into the forest and come back out on the other side over here. 
Yeah, and that's the one thing I hate hiking the same old stuff. Like, I like getting out for new because I wouldn't know all these things. Uh, well, I guess I wouldn't have known it in the last video, so it's kind of good that I'm I'm out showing you this uh, from a, a, a knowledgeable uh, perspective. All right. Anyway, I just like to get the neat stuff. Uh, you know, this is more of the same. Uh, we, we transitioned off of that grassy uh, view. And like I said, you're just kind of diving back into the woods. But look at this. It's kind of cool. Uh, this limb hanging over. It looks like it might snap off any second. Of course, if you're tall, I wouldn't bump into it. <laughs> so, but I just wanted to give you a quick look of, uh, you know, kind of what we're doing. Uh, so that's uh, that's about it for this clip. Um, but that was a, that's a cool look with that limb kind of hanging over the trail. Uh, oh, hey, we're coming up on a sign. Let's uh, let's just see what this says. This might be the primitive camping area. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Um, what does it say? It says hiking trail to the left. Well, I don't know why they've got a sign there. Uh, I mean, where else are you going to go? <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know. I, I, obviously, the trail's to the left, but okay. Uh, I did have to step over a couple of trees, but it wasn't anything, any big deal. You know, I wasn't cutting my way through limbs or having to go out into the forest to get around them or anything like that. So, uh, but it, you can see there is still a little bit of hurricane damage back here. Um, let's just keep on going. So, like I said, I mean, you just kind of dived back into the woods from, from the other side. Like I said, you could have just hiked around the bowl here if you wanted to shorten the hike. Um, and then you're going to come back out into another view. Oh, look here. We do have a couple people in front of me. That's uh, that's crazy. How in the hell I caught them? I, can't, I mean, I'm, I'm moving at like one mile an hour. They, well, they probably took a break and had a picnic or something. Or maybe they came a, a different way. That's what I was saying. You could just come right across there. Uh, but there's another view of the uh, of the beautiful uh, prairie area of the trail. Um, so we're, I'll wait till we dive back in. I think it just goes off to the right up here. Uh, another sign saying hiking trail. I, I, like I said, I, well, I guess you could think it might go that way. I don't know. But all right. So, so we're kind of just driving back into the woods here off, uh, after being up there next to the... Um, uh, the prairie area um, and that's what I was saying about the trail it just kind of winds around that prairie area but you know once again the transitions you know prairie area to forest to prairie area to forest to uh, piney area um, so it's uh, you get all the looks that you kind of see on the trails here in Florida except for there's no water on this trail and uh, there's a seven mile hike down in uh, Homosassa Florida that uh, that I want to do I gotta wait till things dry out because that trail is usually underwater, and uh, and of course I can't do seven miles. <laughs> I can't even come close to that right now. But maybe in a couple three months, uh, as as I improve. I mean, good God, two months ago I couldn't even have begun the, uh, this hike. So um, you can see the physical therapy and stuff is uh, is getting me where I can uh, actually do something for a change. All right, let's. Uh, but you can just kind of see, I just wanted to show you what the trail's looking like here. There's not going to probably be anything until we transition back into the uh, the prairie area. And I'll show you that transition. And then we're pretty much done. Uh, you know, and I think it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it goes back into the pine forest. I'll get a clip there real brief. And then that's it for the day. All right. I think I hit my head harder than I thought when I fell down them daggone stairs and broke my neck. Um, we're about halfway through the hike, or maybe even further, I'm not sure. And here's the primitive campsite, and it's not that far back, and so that's just not that big a big a deal. I'm going to show you the primitive camping area. So, if I was wrong. I mean, you, you, if you come in from that parking area, you just get on the trail. Well, i got to navigate my way through here. You can see this is this is hurricane damage right here. Let's see, i got to work my way around this. All right, let's get on back there, and I'll show you the primitive camping area. Well, this is great, man. I'm telling you, I, I, I forgot there was a picnic table back here. Um, and look at this camping area. Normally, I, you know, people are so disgusting, or maybe the crews have been back here. They leave all kinds of trash and stuff in the in the fire pit that doesn't burn. They try to burn aluminum cans or something stupid like that. But boy, look at look at this. Uh, boy, I tell you, I can't wait to get to where I can haul a backpack around. This this might be one of the first places that I come to camp because I mean I'm telling you you could have your fire right back there of course you're gonna have to go out in the forest here and cut it I, I don't see how you well you could hike in one of those fire logs if you but that'd be more that'd be a strain for me good god it'd probably be three four months before I can do something like that if, if I ever can again but look at this wouldn't this be great to have your tent right here with that uh, that view 
spend a day here reading a book. You know, if you got good weather, I would never come out here in bad weather. But uh, I'm going to have a picnic at the stable and, uh, and drink some water. I'm glad that I, uh, by the way, I, <laughs> you know, when, when you're, when you're, out of shape, you know, broken neck and unstable, trying to get through that little area where the the stuff fell down. I, boy, I tell you, a good thing I had a walking stick. I, I just, I'm just trying to step over stuff is a challenge. Uh, I'm lucky to be walking. So, okay, here, we'll get uh, more video when we get back on the trail. Well, anyway, thought I'd show you some of the things I bring along for a hike. Um, this is what I was talking about. I bought five boxes of these. These are the these are the chocolate deluxe pure protein bars, 21 grams of protein. I mean, I, I don't know how good it is for me, but I figure that protein is important, and man, they taste great. Um, and then, of course, I get these Lance um, whole grain uh, cheddar cheese crackers. Uh, I mean, they say made with whole grain, so there might be some sort of nutritional value there. Probably not. And then, and then that, by the way, I mean, you can buy the knockoffs, but, but I tell you, these Yeti bottles keep the water nice and cold. And I didn't put any ice in there today because it wasn't really a hot day. Um, I mean, it's 80s or something, which I know that's hot to some people uh, if you live up north. And then, of course, here's the walking stick that it, it's, like I said, uh, <laughs> got no feeling in the hand. But it's uh, it, it saved me back there getting through that tree. And then, of course, I, I another thing, uh, you can use whatever backpack you want. But I like this uh, this nylon light pack. And, uh, you know, you can see I just carry a couple things in there and some emergency supplies, uh, a little bit of toilet paper. All right, bye. So this is pretty cool. Um, so we're kind of just coming out from that primitive camping area. Uh, by the way, there was a sign going to the left to go back to the parking area. I, I wouldn't do that if I primitive camped this. I would just hike uh, the whole trail because this is going to come out. Uh, well, actually, I think you're going to pass right by that turn that goes back to the parking area anyway. And that way you'll you'll get the whole trail in. Um, <clears throat> so, but uh, isn't this uh, beautiful? See, this is what I'm talking about. So you're kind of going from forest to grassy area here. Uh, boy, look at that sun! Isn't that and what a gorgeous day? Not a cloud in the sky, especially after being with the rainy season. <laughs> you know I mean, it, this is when you want to be in Florida, baby. I don't know. Uh, this is this is the time. Oh my God! Nothing, nothing but just beautiful weather. Everything coming up uh, from October, November, December, January, February. Well, it gets cold. Now, winter winter's is coming. Um, but I just wanted to show you that uh, that nice little uh, look at right after the primitive camping area, going to the right, not to the left, going back towards the parking area. All right, well, I'll, we'll see if I get, get another uh, a thing to look at here shortly. Boy, I forgot about this. <clears throat> this would have been a much better place to have a picnic than the primitive camping area here unless you need the picnic table. By the way, that picnic table is somewhat wobbly. But you see how we're working our way. Here's another, uh, boy, what a beautiful, what a beautiful place to hold up and just, uh, well, I'll just bring a book, man. That's why I'm actually going to buy the PragerU uh, books. Uh, these got a new series out. I'm, I'm going to, and I could come here and just sit for a few hours and, uh, and just look at that view and just read a book. And uh, especially on a day like today, oh my gosh. You know, you're not even worried about rain or anything. Uh, it's just, uh, look at that view. That See, this is what I'm talking about. That's why I love this this trail so much. So now we're just kind of just, you know, we came out, and uh, but I want to show you that bench. Um, great place to read a book. I, in fact, I will for sure. That's going to be on my, uh, my bucket list. So now we're just kind of heading back into the hiking trail, and uh, we'll keep on going now. Uh, more so on the Florida Trail, but you always get these wild trees. Uh, you expect the headless horseman to pop out of that thing. Uh, that one's dead, but uh, the, the live trees uh, look just as good. Uh, anyway, more of the more of the same on the trail. Um, boy, I'm getting getting a little beat up and tired. I thank God I had that power bar, huh? And uh, those whole grain cheese crackers that I'm sure are really beneficial for my health. <laughs> <laughs> but it does say whole grain give me some credit here all right let's keep going so this is cool you see this quite often on these florida trails uh you know don't, don't go stomping around in there and kill all of that uh i guess that's permafrost maybe i, I don't know anyway well, i did another transition from the trail uh kind of moving out of the uh the woods again like i said you're just kind of winding your way in and out of the forest uh, around the uh the prairie pretty sure i'm going to come back out on to another view of the prairie from the side. You can kind of see where we're just working our way around it. 
and uh, let's look back uh, there we go there we go so now you can see it because we were if you think about it you know we were all the way over there and uh, just, we've just kind of worked our way around and now if I recall we're pretty much done with the prairie portion or the prairie view because uh, we're going to dive back into the forest and then uh, and then we'll get back into the pine area that might be the the next to last clip I got to I got to show me in the parking lot just to just to show you that I made it because <laughs> that is questionable at this point. We'll see what happens. All right, all right. This isn't a transition per se, but one of the I forgot. You know, one of the great things about you know a trail is is when they wind around, and uh, you know, if you just cut this trail in like a straight shot, uh, you can see it wouldn't be anywhere near as much fun as the as the way it makes these twists and turns and. You know, and and uh, and I like the the fact that it's not cut back uh, tremendously like a lot of trails. You know, I mean, uh, you might get a tick on you or something off of the leaves here, but they're not they're not brushing up against your legs. And I don't all I got on is shorts. Uh, you know, I didn't even have to wear my hiking pants or my hiking shoes. Uh, um, we're going to get into all of that, and I'll, I'm going to discuss some thoughts for the uh, channel uh, for anybody that watches this video because uh, I think. Uh, I got an idea, especially now that I'm building the Creator House, about where I'm going to go with uh, with the the hiking stuff. Uh, just break it out completely. I don't know. I thought this was pretty cool. I always love it when trails do this, and you're going right in between a couple of trees, uh, mature trees, and then you then you come through, and you got that knotty looking tree right there with a, a grassy area to the right. See what I'm talking about with this trail? You kind of got it. And of course, over here you got the palm. Uh, those saw palmettos, I think that's what they are. I'm kind of learning Florida uh, plant life, wildlife, uh, as, as I go. Um, let's just keep on going. Um, I, I think I'll try to save, this video is getting too long. I'll try to keep the clips to a minimum unless I see something unique. Okay, I was wrong. We're, we're still working our way around the prairie, but I wanted to get this uh, look at it. Um, I was, I do remember, I mean, that's cool. They got these uh, birdhouses. Uh, around the prairie uh, that looks fairly new too so they're really maintaining that uh, I, I'd like to see even more I think that would be wonderful and uh, so there you kind of got another another view of the prairie if you wanted to just step up there uh, if you brought your own chair you could just sit right there although that bench a while back uh, would be just fine anyway I wanted to show you that uh, let's just keep going back into the forest uh, I, and this is cool you see how it just opens up and winds around and uh, back into the forest uh, I just wanted to show you that because uh, that is a really neat view up there but I'm getting whoop, I hit a stick with the phone <laughs> I'm getting tired at this point so I can't I can't keep making detours I got to just get get my buns back to get yourself back to Mars get yourself back to Mars Ooh, I'm starting to stumble at this point but uh, so you're coming out of the forest I don't think we'll be seeing the prairie anymore uh, and then we're making this wonderful transition back into the uh, the piney area uh, So you can see that the pine trees and everything here uh, Absolutely gorgeous. What a day What a day. Wow. Sorry about the length of the video, but uh, I guess I, I'm just trying to, to trust trying to get all of the There's just so much to see on this trail You know, it's not like you're just hiking through a bunch of oak trees for miles and miles uh, Which is the way some of the trails are here in Florida you know, you got you got so many different looks and views. That's that. That's why I said this is one of the best trails around. All right. So this is where uh, it's it's kind of nice here uh, at, at this time of the year to be hiking. You can tell that there hasn't been a maintenance crew on this trail, so it's it's tightened up quite quite nicely. I, I you know I'm no I'm brushing against the leaves and I could be getting some ticks and stuff, but I just uh, I like that. You know I I don't like it when trails are just cut way way back i like the feeling that i'm actually you know roughing it through the forest uh, although you're not i mean you're on a trail but i thought this was pretty cool just wanted to get a get a look around isn't that cool really really quite outstanding believe it or not it's been, <laughs> been a while since i made a clip i've just basically been going through that for well i guess i'm also very 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 tired um but uh so you're just kind of i'm kind of coming out here I think I might be nearing the end of the hike. Uh, if this is, well, I, I won't know till I get up here. This might be a fire break, and that's kind of when you're first starting out, you cross a fire break. Uh, yes, we do fire management here in Florida. Hello, California. 
But uh, anyway, so um, if that's the fire break, uh, this is pretty much it. And then I'll make a final uh, clip uh, summarizing the video and talking about uh, the future of the, uh, the, the future videos and the future of the channel. So this is the final clip. Of, I'm coming up to the parking lot. I thought it'd be better to get this clip while I'm hiking versus because uh, I was going to sit on the picnic table, but I did remember now because it's been a while since I've been making hiking videos, obviously. Uh, and uh, I forgot my mic, and so for me to get very far from the, uh, well, this is the Samsung Galaxy S22 phone, uh, the uh, sound, you wouldn't have any sound quality. So uh, without that, uh, let's just finish off the video. Um, you know, you saw the hike. Uh, it has everything except water. Uh, always nice to, to come up by some water. And then, of course, from this location, there are a lot of hikes in the area. I wanted to kind of talk about uh, future videos, um, hiking videos, uh, strictly. Because uh, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, uh, because i got to get my body back to in shape. And this is, uh, this is how I, I want to do it. And uh, so I, I thought, you know, what I can do is go back and remake uh, those previous hiking videos and do all the hikes in the area. Uh, and, and basically restart the channel. I'm going to call it Hiking with Kirk. So that'll be the, the new channel uh, eventually because I've got the, you know, the creator house that I'm building. I've got the new um, DaVinci Resolve software. So uh, now any hikes that I can't do again, like up in Virginia or uh, other places, uh, I'm going to go back and edit those videos, uh, take out any commentary that's not related to hiking and, uh, and just start uh, redoing a lot of these hikes because you know it's it'll be a whole different uh, different feel and look because I've done the hikes before so now uh, you'll see it from from an experienced hiker perspective versus a uh, one back when I was doing them because a lot of it was for the first time which was kind of exciting for me uh, but at this point it's more about me uh, whipping the body back into shape so tell me what you think of that idea if you if you're gonna uh, enjoy the channel I will always finish it off. It's good, 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 good to live in the free state of Florida. Um, we got so much here uh, to do and to see. Uh, I love it here. I love, uh, I love our Governor DeSantis, and I think uh, it's uh, it's just good. Uh, we never played with that COVID nonsense or any of that. So I just uh, anyway, that was not trying to get crazy with this. All right, have a good one, you guys. And uh, let me know if you like the idea of just going back and remaking hiking videos with nothing but uh, commentary about the hike. All right, peace out.